What is going on everybody? This is Muhammad with Express Car Reviews and finally I have the chance to put my hands on one of these. This is a Ford Super Duty F250 Lariat Edition. But this one not a regular Lariat by any means. You know, you have across the hall from here, you have the Chevy Silverado 2500 offering about uh, 970 pound feet of torque. So the Ford Super Duty said, okay, we accept the challenge. They gave you best in class 1200 pound feet of torque, but that's not it. You also have 500 horsepower, also best in class, but we're not done yet. You can get up to 40,000 pounds of towing on the, uh, not this particular truck. It has to be a 450 dually and uh, other stuff than that. But regardless, the point is this truck is coming in and it's coming in strong. So I want to take you in a full walkthrough for the exterior and the interior design. And uh, let me know what you guys think about it in the comments below. If you haven't already, make sure to hit the subscribe and the bell button. It's going to help me out a lot. Without any further ado, let's begin. Make sure to check out LegendaryFurnitureLLC.com where you can order your favorite furniture straight from your home. All the furniture is available in stock and it's ready to be shipped. There's no crazy wait times. There's no salesman. There's no crazy markups. Just your favorite furniture. It's that simple. Alright guys, as you can see, this thing is looks like an absolute beast. Uh, Ford called this truck an all-new truck. Of course, this one comes with the uh, black midnight package. I believe that's what they call it. It's basically a blacked out version. As you can see, you have blacked out uh, wheels. I absolutely love these pro comp wheels. Um, personally, this is one of my favorite design on an off-road truck uh, or an off-road SUV. Pro comp style wheels. I absolutely love them. Beautiful. You have this black Ford badge. That's a new. And uh, you also have this glossy black grill. And check this out. I really like how the front fascia of this car extend to the side of the of the of the fenders. I mean, this is uh, this is such a great uh, polarizing design. Ford F250s are already very very polarizing uh, trucks when you look at them. But um, yeah, nowadays they look even more and more aggressive as they should. This thing looks so good in person. Uh, you also have these tow hooks that are huge absolutely huge recovery tow hooks um you also have you know of course your fog lights in here turn signals and then you'll have this also blacked out f250 larry now one thing to keep in mind the 6.7 liter power stroke turbo diesel engine uh we said it produces about um, 500 horsepower that's the high the high output version 500 horsepower okay now uh also, the high output version, it's, it should be highlighted in red. You get about 1,200 pound feet of torque, which is insane. Absolutely insane. I mean, how much more can you get? How much more powerful are you going to make this truck? Is there a limit in here? Are we talking about a limit? This is literally semi-truck territory, guys. I mean, uh, this is just absolutely insane. With specific configuration, you can tow up to 40,000 pounds. This is just ridiculously strong guys look at these beefy leaf springs right here how beefy they are and these huge uh dweller bridgestone tires i believe these are uh, 33s if, if i'm not mistaken um you have this huge exhaust tip right in here just to release all that pressure of course you have your iconic back step so you can get in the bed easy access in and out this is a uh, six and a half foot bit truck and uh, as we come more to the back um, you know the the platinum version I believe I want to say it's the platinum or the highest trim of this truck have cameras available in here not the lariat I think it's, it has it's an additional option that you get with the lariat but yeah looking at this truck from the exterior it looks really really great guys I really like the tail light design as well so yeah, these trucks have been getting so much, so very, very luxurious over time. Let me show you the inside of this truck. So moving over to the inside right here, as you can see, you have rear AC vents, AC 120 volts, power outlet, beautiful, beautiful leather seats that uh, of course fold as needed as well. Um, you have center console right here. And then look at this panoramic roof. It just looks really, really great. Let me hop in inside. And then show you how it looks like you have soft touch material in here and then you have this door handle and uh, let's hop in right in here guys as you can see this inside looks so good in here 
um, you know, of course, spells out super duty, very large, just so you know, this truck is about business. I really like this uh, moon roof in here. You have these toggle switches for all kinds of connections. If you want to add any more LED lights or any other than that, um, each one, you know, a lot of auxiliary options right here that you can add. Um, but yeah, every, overall, it's uh, actually a brand new interior as well. So on the inside, everything looks really good. It looks in its place. It doesn't look overwhelming in any way, shape or form. I really like that large screen. I believe this is a 13 inch as well. So uh, let me know what you guys think about the interior on the inside and uh, in the comments below. So let's go ahead and check out the side step. Also one thing uh, Ford added for this Super Duty truck is this beautiful side step that you can access the bed a lot more easier. I mean it's about time. This is a large bed as you can see. It's a large and uh, high truck as you can see. So you definitely having a step on, on the side right here helps a lot. That's for sure. So um, yeah, that's just uh, to put that out there. All right, guys, I'm super curious to know what you guys think about this truck. Uh, personally, I absolutely love the fact that Ford is always striving to give us the best in class horsepower and torque and uh, best in class pretty much everything else is trying its best to do that. Uh, I, th I feel like it achieved uh, a huge step forward by given us these numbers specifically the 1200 pound feet of torque it just leaves me asking is there any any more to go higher than that and what is the limit for all of this so let me know what you guys think about this truck i'm super curious to know what you guys think about it in the comments below and make sure to subscribe and hit the bell button it's going to help me out a lot and until next time peace